From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, solidarity among G7 members on Russia. No apology for U.S. prisoner exchange. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Norman. Leaders of the G7, the group of seven industrialized democracies, are hailing Ukraine's recent election as an opportunity for peace and are calling on Russia to open dialogue with the new government. VOA's Luis Ramirez reports. The G7 summit highlighted the dilemmas that European governments face in deciding whether to apply tougher sanctions against Russia if it does not stop destabilizing Ukraine. At a joint news conference with British Prime Minister David Cameron, President Obama said he understands what he said are the real economic consequences on countries that have extensive trade ties with Russia, but he indicated those have to be weighed against the values and principles that Russia has violated. You know, the choice uh, is clear. Uh, Europeans have to stand up for uh, you know, the, those ideals and principles, uh, even if it, it creates some uh, economic inconvenience. The president said the U.S. is looking at sanctions that would maximize the consequences on Russia but minimize the adverse effects on the economies of G7 nations. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, Brussels. Gunmen believed to be Boko Haram militants have shot dead dozens of people in northeastern Nigeria, the fourth such massacre reported this week. A local source tells VOA that men wearing military uniforms entered the Borno State village of Badari on Wednesday, asked people to come to listen to a preacher. Source says when the villagers gathered, the men opened fire. Militants have killed thousands of people over the past five years in attacks on schools, churches, mosques, bus stations, and other public places. Boko Haram is also holding more than 200 schoolgirls it kidnapped from the town of Chibok back in April. Suspected Al-Qaeda militants have attacked a military checkpoint in southern Yemen, killing at least 14 soldiers. Yemeni security officials say other soldiers were wounded in the attack, which took place on Thursday near the village of Sabwa province. Iraqi militants attacked and launched an attack that is in northern city of Samara, killing at least seven. They were policemen before being repelled by helicopter gunships. Military officials say the assault began Thursday when militants advanced on the town and pickup trucks attacking checkpoints and police stations. After entering the city, the rebels took control of several areas, sparking heavy clashes resulting in casualties on both sides. President Obama says he makes no apologies for seeking the release of former Taliban prisoner Bo Bergdahl in exchange for five Taliban leaders, a deal that has sparked a backlash for the Obama administration. Mr. Obama told reporters Thursday he had a duty as commander-in-chief of the U.S. military to bring Sergeant Berghall home. He said his administration saw an opportunity and seized it, noting he was concerned Bergdahl's health was deteriorating. Meantime, the U.S. Department of Defense says Bergdahl's health is improving as he recuperates at a U.S. military hospital in Germany. Pentagon spokesman Colonel Steve Warren. He remains in stable condition. Uh, his health continues to improve daily. He is conversing with medical staff and becoming more engaged in his treatment plan. He's resting better and showing signs of improvement. Taliban freed Bergdahl last week after five years in captivity. Militant group captured him in 2009, soon after his arrival in Afghanistan. Israel announced plans to build about 1,500 more settlement homes in the West Bank and East Jerusalem in response to Palestinians' formation of a unity government Housing Minister Yuri Ariel says the move is an Israeli government response to the establishment of a Palestinian government that includes Hamas, which it considers a terrorist organization. 
Abbas Iso is Palestinian government spokesperson. Within the international recognition of the, uh, the new Palestinian government, the Israeli government continues its uh, measures on the ground by, approve, by the approval of building a new uh, settlements uh, in the West Bank. We at the Palestinian government, we condemn uh, the approval of building a new settlement and we believe that this is undermining the international efforts towards achieving a peaceful solution based on Tuesday's solution. Palestinians oppose Israeli construction on land that they want a part of as a future state. Chinese state media says 81 people have been sentenced as part of an anti-terrorism crackdown in the far northwestern region of Xinjiang. Central Television reports the charges include organizing a participation in terrorism, murder, and arson. That's the latest world news from BOA.